Bri's phone. Like how I put our names together. Bobby, put Bri on. Sorry, but my cupcake is getting us cupcakes. Did you finish your 3D geometry sheet? <laughs> sure did. We've been bobbied. <sighs> Just a little symbol of my unbridled affection. A symbol? <laughs> That's it! Bobby, thank you, thank you, thank you! To us. Don't push it. We gotta figure this out ourselves. I might be able to block retro signal with a Faraday cage. A what cage? A metal cage that shields radio frequencies from being sent. We just need to find one. And I know where to get it. Hey, Devin. Think I could borrow that? Why? Mind if I don't tell you? Sounds shady. I like shady. Ooh, what is that? It's a gift for Devin's Nana. If I cover the antenna, the metal mesh from the skull will block the signal. Boom, that saved the drone. Now for the gas. If you heat nitrous oxide while it's releasing, it turns it into harmless oxygen and nitrogen, neutralizing it. And I've got the perfect way to heat it. I got this. Good thing Janitor Larry's still stuck in the 90s. <sighs> that should do it. I modified the regulator on the blower in order to heat the gas to 650 degrees. I call it my laughing gas hair blow dryer heating contraption thingy. You know, maybe you should just stop trying to name things. Either way, you lose, Retro. Dr. Tuttle's speech at Maywood Glen Academy last night was both inspirational and enlightening. Her new drone wowed the audience as it flew. Congratulations, girls. Even though we haven't located Retro yet, you still saved Dr. Tuttle's drone launch. Job well done on your first mission back. And we all got to meet her after her speech. It was the one time Bri was speechless. Go ahead, do your little dance. What? I'm not a stick in the mud. Go us! Go us! Go us! Go us! Hello again, Maywood Glen. Whoever ruined my plan to ruin Dr. Tuttle's launch should know that I'm the ruiner here. I ruin things, not you. I'm the destroyer of technology, and now you'll see what I can really do. I promise you, I will have the last laugh. We gotta stop this guy. I was right! Check it out. That's Black Star symbol. Yeah, but at this angle, look familiar? I don't get it. It's Havoc symbol too? Exactly! It's like Black Star and Havoc are somehow connected. And if Havoc is involved, that means that your old friend Carson Lazarus could be retro after all. Dr. Crawford? Please hurry, Owl. I only jammed the camera feed to this office for one minute so you can look through Dr. Crawford's files. Relax, Addison. <laughs> you know, I'd pace if I have legs. Michaela, can I help you? Uh, no, ma'am. I was just dropping off these files you asked for. Thank you. Um, I uh, actually have some others for Professor Cato, but I haven't seen him. Neither have I. I'm starting to get concerned. Would you like me to try to reach him? No, no, I'm, I'm sure he'll turn up. Oh, Michaela. You're doing a very nice job here. Thank you, Dr. Crawford. Keep it up.
start a search of Professor Cato's last known addresses. I will. Right after my bit rate returns to normal. That was close. There you are. Two of Cafe Adam's sweet polyphenol teas to go. Enjoy! Very good, Rai. I'm just so excited. Thank you so much again for hiring me this summer. It's my pleasure, Cariño. We're going to have so much fun. Totally. And with the extra money, I'm finally in that meditation class I've been wanting to take. Did you know that through MRI, scientists have found that meditation leads to enhanced creativity, better focus, lower anxiety, and a lasting sense of calm. I can't think of anyone who could use a little meditation more than you. Wow, this place is awesome. Adri, Bri, this is Tessa, and her mother, Miss Wallace. Bienvenidos al Café Atoms. Hi, Mr. Coyle. Hello, Bryden. Adrian? In honor of your first day at Destination Mars Camp, I'm going to make you all Cafe Adam's special cotton candy milkshake with liquid nitrogen ice cream. Sounds great. Warning, major brain freeze. <laughs> Has anyone been able to reach Michaela today? She's not answering her phone. No, I'm beginning to worry about her. She did take last night's fiasco pretty hard. Doesn't she also have her driver's license test coming up? Whew, talk about being stressed. Some meditative controlled breathing exercises would work for her about now. Breathe in through the nose, and out through the nose. In through the nose. <coughs> it's harder than it looks. I was so sure Kato was our man. How did I totally misread the clues? Um, we all misread the same clues. Yeah, when it came to Professor Kato, we were barking up the wrong tree. Do dogs even solve crimes? Because they should. That would be so adorable. Guys, I really appreciate you having my back, but this is my case. I blew it, and now I have to fix it. Em, I think it's time we pay Dr. Crawford another visit. She's the only other person that had unrestricted access to the prototype. Well, besides my dad. Can you imagine him a master criminal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Never. <laughs> Dr. Crawford it is. Hey, I sure would like to talk. I I'll text him back later. I need to get to Space Inc. to analyze Dr. Crawford's digitalized phone logs before she gets to work. Hold up, Em. You really do need to see this. Kyle made you a video! Hi, Michaela. Hi, Kyle. I'm hoping that right now you're saying, hi, Kyle, back. She did. He knows her so well. Anyway, I'm sending you this video because I got you something. It's a little congratulations present. Since you got the internship at Space Inc., I got you your own star. Aww. See this? See this tiny dot? That is your star. And its coordinates are in the constellation Ursa Major, your favorite, right? Aww. There's more. Uh, I will give it to you next time I see you. Bye. Bye, Kyle. That was pretty romantico, right? Kyle's amazing. And getting my very own exploding ball of hydrogen and helium is kind of like my dream gift. But right now I need to focus on this case and nothing else. So, who wants to tell Kyle how it went? Nice. Nikoi ne moje, ta znaj zašto ste tu. Dva roboti. Kak može da? Sve zube znaju. Nikoi ne moje, ta znaj zašto ste tu ka. Dva roboti. 